Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the Silicon Nubian YouTube channel. Today we have what I call the quote unquote boring office PC build. But we're building more than one machine. So we're also going through how to clone a machine, at least one strategy in cloning one machine to another. Mind you, this is only one of a few strategies that can be used to get this done. So let's get going on this build video with a little bit of uh, software magic at the end. Let's get going.
Gentlemen, for the turn on test. I'm gonna make some comments about this build. I'm not happy with it. I still gotta do some stuff, especially with this cable here. I'm gonna tie it back a little bit more. This case doesn't really give you a lot of options with respect to cable management and the built-in power supply, but we'll talk about that later. So let's turn it on for the first time and see what happens. I haven't put the faceplate on back on or anything like that. I just want to see if we get power. We have power. Fantastic. Where's my phone? Okay. So let's put it back up together. And uh, we'll get to the second part of this video, which is cloning one machine to another. Okay, as promised, this is the second part of the video. A um, couple things I want to say about the build. First and foremost, if you're talking cable management, the case has absolutely no cable management features. Twist ties are your best friend. This is a small form factor case that I, I'm going to use. It's the first time I've actually used this one. And it's pretty similar to all the B-series from Inwin. I generally do not like to use cases that have their own power supply. I've had some issues with those from Cooler Master, the cheaper cases, um, and uh, with some of their power supplies. But one of the few, if only, company that I can use and, and have trust in their power supplies that they ship with is Inwin. Uh, I've never had, really had a lot of trouble with any of the Inwin Power Man power supplies. That being said... Uh, the whole idea of the second part of the video is to show you how to clone one machine to another or to image. Uh, we're going to use the image route to get this done. Okay, so here we have in front of you the Macrum Reflect Professional uh, Windows PE environment. It's a bootable disk booted into this and on the master machine. Why we call it the master machine is because this is the machine that we have built initially, installed Windows 10 installed Microsoft Office, installed Nod32 antivirus, but have not entered in the license keys for any of them. Okay, uh, what we're doing here, I could have entered in the license key for Windows 10 and then later on boot back up after my image into another machine and change it. Uh, this uh, client does not have a site license, so these are individual license keys for everything they've got. It's a smaller office. So what we're going to do, there's two methods to get this done. The clone, in the clone method, I'd have to actually have the SSDs or the, from the other computers uh, in hand, plug it into this one, and I can clone directly one drive to another. Uh, because of the way I put this together, I was thinking of doing it that way, but the way that these uh, systems uh, were a little bit of a bother for me, not too much, but uh, I just uh, decided I'll do it the image routine, the image way to do it. Now, some more technically uh, advanced people say, why don't you just create a, a Pixie Boot environment? and just do it over the network, well, uh, that's for another video. I've done that before, it's for another video. I would not be using Macrum Reflect, of course. I have done it once or twice using Clonezilla, but that's outside the scope of this video. What we're going to do is I'm going to image this drive to an external hard drive that I have plugged in. That's the one terabyte right here. And I'm going to use that image and restore it on the other two PCs. What I've done is I've installed all the software necessary, updated all the drivers, everything is working great, Windows is fully updated as of this evening, fully updated. And so when I clone it to the other machines, the only thing I have to do is boot them up and enter in the license keys for the relevant software and activate them and boom, we're ready to roll. Uh, it's a lot quicker than having to reinstall Windows and all these applications three times. Uh, restoring an image, uh, especially that it's not such a large image that's going to be created, is quite fast. So let's get started. Okay, so we have Macrum Reflect, we have two, follow the cursor, we have two, we have Restore and Backup. We're going to do Backup. This is the drive we want to backup. This drive down here is our one terabyte external. We're going to click on image. If we're going to clone, that's something else, but I don't want to clone that drive to my backup drive. So we're going to image this disk, and then we're going to select the location for the backup. And these are all clients and other people. And okay. Now you can also type in here. So I'll put firm back. OK. 
Okay. And we can go next, create folder. And we're not too interested in uh, adjusting the compression, which is medium and all these other things. Um, although we might select on verify at the end, verify the image, because we're just quickly making this image to put on the other machines. We're not going to hold it on our disk and we go finish and it's starting. There we go. So what's happening now is the system, uh, the C drive, the SSD in the system, it's only one drive per, per machine, is now being, uh, an image file is being created of it and put onto the external hard drive. So we're going to stop the video now and get this done and then we're going to come back when it's done and show how we can restore it on the second PC and uh, boot it up and show you that it works. Okay, we're back. That took about 12 to 14 minutes to create the image. Now we have the second identical system hooked up and we're going to restore that image to the drive in this system. So here, let's get started. We browse for it. Computer. This would actually be the one terabyte. We select the image and we're going to click on restore image and select this to restore to. That would be the sound disk. We go next and it's going to tell us source disk, destination disk from one sound disk to another sound disk are absolutely identical identical drives and we'll get started. A uh, little thing here though, make sure in particular when you're going from one drive to another using an image file, be sure to double and triple se triple check the source disk and the destination disk. Uh, I've had one or two times where clients or people have uh, called panicking because they've actually restored um, onto the improper disk or the wrong disk and in the, in, the, uh, in the process of doing that they pretty much wipe the drive so that's not a good thing so double check and here we go you may want to click on verify if you go to advanced options you can have verify image and you click on that uh, I would highly recommend that you do that you just want to make sure that everything's going to work good the first time and you don't want issues when you boot back up. So let's get started. And here we go, it started. So what we're going to do is like we did before. Restoring seems to take a lot less time than actually creating the image. Uh, so um, it's, it's going pretty fast actually. So uh, we will pause the film here and we will come back when it's done and we'll boot up the system and see what we see. Okay, here we are. Now the restore is done. Now we're going to boot up the system. Remember, this system was just restored from a, um, an image that was created on the other system. So let's see how this works. Here we go, Windows is booting up. Starting. And there we are, right to the desktop. I did set the Windows to boot right into the desktop. The user, once they get it, will uh, configure it the way they want. So it works fantastically and we'll do one more system the same way. Once again, there are other methods of doing this. I just wanted to show one with images. Uh, when you install Windows for the first time, even when you install a few critical applications, I didn't have to use a one terabyte external. I could have used a, um, realistically, I could have used a 64 gig uh, a flash drive, which probably would have been a lot more convenient than lugging around a um, one terabyte external which actually needs uh, a second power supply to run it. But I just want to show you what can be done and how quickly it can be done. The restore 
finished in under five minutes. Uh, so that tells you with verification, I put verify, it was around 12 minutes. But if I was uh, very sure now, for example, on the next system, I wouldn't even verify. Just do the restore. Uh, some might get at me for doing that, but once you boot up and see. So we're talking under five minutes per system to get it looking like this, which is great. So now I will go in and just enter in the license keys. It takes me all of three minutes to five minutes, and the system will be ready to ship to the user. So that's the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, it was kind of a messy build. Not the best. Um, once again, the system had almost zero cable management features. Did the best I could. Did tighten it up quite a bit. I should have taken a picture of that. The cables are very much out of the way now. And uh, thank God for twist ties and zip zip ties. Uh, if you like what you see, subscribe. Uh, check us out. We have a uh, PC Construction Zone on Facebook. A new group that we just started. Very new. All about people who like to put together PCs if you want to join us. Uh, not just putting together PCs, if you have prospective builds, PC part picker links, whatever, and we get in there and we discuss. No fanboys. Um, and I can tell you right away that I have no brand loyalty. So we see everything objectively and uh, get that done. So that's uh, on Facebook. We see the links below. We also have PC Enthusiasts and Technology. Uh, technology, sorry, and PC enthusiasts. We have a few other things, but check us out on that channel or that group, uh, PC Construction Zone. And if you like what you see, once again, thumbs up, subscribe, tell others about it. See you next time, folks.